Miron, 2 0, clear result. You say it or you uh, ask it? Oh, question. <laughs> Do you think it's a fair result or yes, 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 you think it's Look, uh, <laughs> look I, uh, I obviously not happy, but I think it's a fair result. Right? Uh, we wanted very much to win and to keep the momentum and have uh, nine points. But uh, I can't say that uh, Port Melbourne doesn't deserve the points. And the fact that they were leading twice and uh, uh, credit to our boys that we equalized. And, uh, quick response, I think there was a minute between the goals, so that's credit to our boys and also I think that uh, their goal was a free kick and a bit, uh, you know, shot from, from uh, speculative shot from distance while our those two goals were, were really well, uh, good combination and well created, but uh, overall, you know what I mean, like, uh, we have our moments that we can finish them off and they have the moments that they were better, so uh, I think uh, both coaches uh, should be happy with the point and disappointed that they haven't uh, got the three points. But again, they were the home team, so maybe they should be more. So, do you take the positive out of drawing behind then drawing level, or do you take the negative out of getting behind in the first place? Both. Both, yeah. You know, both, you know. we shouldn't, I don't like to get behind, but I'm happy that we reacted. You know. That's a sign of, uh, of uh, good teams that fighting for each other. And, uh, and the both goals that we scored, I was pleased with the goal. It was not uh, accidental. It was not, uh, good, good moves, you know what I mean? And that's what we do in training. So I'm happy with the goal, but again, I came here for three points. So not happy, but both is a good side. So let's put it like this. If we... If you continue not to lose, uh, the future is bad. So three games down now, is they expect where you were expected to be or is it still proved improvement? No, we, we need to improve. First of all, we short in one centre back that uh, is coming, we're coming uh, Adam Lecron, that's coming from Adelaide, so he's eligible to play for the next round. So we strengthen our defence because we consider today the same goal that we considered the back against Heidelberg from header from free kick because we're a bit on the smaller side. And uh, so that's one thing, and then again, we have to, to keep working. We have only, unlike a lot of other things, we have a completely new team. We have only uh, Dushan, uh, Zoric and uh, Evan Cristadulo left from last year, all the rest are new guys. So, so you know, so we're still not gelling together, but funny enough, we won the first two games, and this game we drew and we play better football. So football-wise, as a coach, I think we, we're on the way up. So if you continue like this, uh, I'm happy with the progress, but uh, the results today was, you know, but, but, you know, in football it's not always, in the short run, not always the results reflect, uh, reflect the effort on the field, you know, but, uh, but that's what happened. I, uh, we played today better than we played in the previous two games, so it means that football-wise we're on the way out. Thank you, Tyler. You're welcome. You. So, two all, two all has to get Oh, look, performance uh, in patches was very, very good, and in patches in terms of concentration, we let ourselves down. Uh, so, look, there's plenty to, to work on, uh, but overall, there's plenty. It's a very, very good side, and at no point did I feel we were, you know, we were outplayed or anything like that. Um, they definitely had their, their phases, if you want to call it that, but so did we. Um, but I've got, you know, today was a big positive for us in the sense that we got two or three players back and get them some games. So, if there is hope, do you feel? I think so, yeah, probably, you know, but we'd like to think that at home, you know, winning's a bit of an obligation, uh, but if playing against a good team and considering that our boys have had trouble playing out games, um, and probably both teams could have pitched it in the end, but, you know, something for us to build on, and, you know, to be honest, it'd be really good to get away from home. Yeah. Still searching for that first win, you can't really to come soon. No, I'm not sure. No, no, of course. Look, it's 26 games or whatever it is. Um, sounds like it's a bit of a cliche, but we're worrying about how we're playing. Um, now we've got to get Phil Riccobini, Ross Honos, uh, Adam Heperessin back to full match fitness, and I still think we've got more upside than, than downside, for sure. I guess it must be disappointing, you yeah. know, up twice, then just to draw. Is that disappointing? Oh, hugely, of course. Yeah. So, look, of course, you, you know, we're doing something right to be able to get into those positions. So, 2 0 against Dandenong, 2 1 against South, you know, 1 1, you know, 1 0 and 2 1 here. 
Um, so there's some concentration issues there. Um, but you know what, maybe when, you, when you've got a young team, you've got to expect that. Absolutely frustrated, and we've got to be better if we want to achieve our goals. I guess how do you address that in a big week in the training track, just more match preparation? How do you turn this around? I think the first and foremost is analysis. You know, we've done our, we'll do our match analysis and we've had a look at that, we've isolated it. Um, for me, it's a little bit of concentration in the 18 uh, yard box, because uh, you know, obviously marking space is not the answer in those areas. So that's it, just about being methodical. So in two orders, they feel like we're winning because you play extremely well against a very tough opposition. No, no, look, it does. And I think what I said to the boys there was it, it tells us something that we walk into our dressing room after a result like that against a team like that, it feels like a loss. Yeah. And that's how it feels. Yeah. Um, we want to achieve our goal, and that means winning uh, games, at, uh, games at home. Um, all it means now is we've got to be smarter and work harder uh, in the remaining, uh, remaining games, and I'm confident we can do that. Thank you for your time. No worries, man. Thank you. Thanks, pal.